Hello, RA out there. It's Mark with HFD, and I've got paid TTMMORPG in quotes experience. This is coming from Nora Codes, who gave me the okay to read their story. Thank you, Nora, for sharing with me. This is a long one. TLDR joined a gigantic, very expensive paid game, which turned out to be very bureaucratic and dysfunctional, and I didn't even get to play. Ooh, I hope you didn't pay because that sounds like it would be an extremely bad deal. Oof, pay to play. I have strong opinions. Okay, this story. I've been spending some time looking for smaller D&D YouTubers because some of them have really awesome content despite, <laughs> despite low sub slash view counts. That's me. I'm exactly the person you've been looking for. <laughs> Imagine my delight when I found a channel giving me really good D&D advice. This, this guy. And the guy who ran it was a paid DM. <laughs> that is not me. I uh, <laughs> is a paid DM for tabletop MMORPGs with thousands of players. Okay. I've never played to role play. I don't recommend it. I've never charged to DM, nor would I ever do that. But this smells fishy like a, a, I don't exactly know what you're saying. You're saying you found a YouTuber, just some dude making videos, lady making videos, who who runs thousands of players? That's that's not a thing. That's not possible to do. Even if you were running ten people in a party, you you would you would need a dozen DMs. It would be a full time job for multiple people to handle that many players. Okay, this sounds like a nightmare. I, and I don't read these first. I read the titles, and then I, hey, can I read your story on my YouTube channel? And people are like, yeah, go for it. But this sounds really bad already. I I did not. Uh, yeah, well, let's find out. Let's find this. This might be a little less on the role play side of things here today. Where <laughs> he had about a half dozen videos pitching this game, which he emphasized was all about forging a legacy, TM, <laughs> and making making player player, player choice matter. Because uh, he's got to have a catchphrase. It's a business for him, so it's like yeah, like it's literally like TM trademark, <laughs> forging a legacy. Just you and your 999 closest RPG friends, but you'll really stand out. Wink. <laughs> Money. Pay me. <laughs> Sorry. He showed off some cool art in their high production quality VTT sessions and talked about raid style one shots and one on one role play. Sounds awesome, I thought. Okay. Okay. If if you sorry, if you thought it looked and sounded cool, then it it did, and it must have been pretty polished and cool sounding then. Right? I mean, yeah. Okay. And you sign up. I thought basically West March's server with some extra perks, and I'm lucky enough to have some disposable income. As a forever DM, I'm happy to spend a bit of cash to have a really good experience as a player. But this isn't, this is, you're not signing up for WoW. You are signing up for a role-playing game with like a character sheet. And, right? It's just, just it, can't, it can't work with hundreds or thousands of players. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. So you got to, you're going to go for it. Okay, I clicked the link under one of his videos, which led me to a ClickFunnel website. Sounds horrible. The same kind of thing you see for Uh, alpha male influencers you know <laughs> i i actually got this beard by uh buying supplements from my favorite alpha male influencers online yeah this is the only way you can do this yeah i would look like a little uh a little baby doll otherwise if not if not for the alpha male supplements this is you know what i actually am so good at alpha i'm so good at i'm so good at alpha male now here let's i'm so good at alpha male folks that I can teach you the secrets of alpha male right here. Okay, so first of all, there are no alpha males. There are, are asshole males. <laughs> there's no beta and there's no sigma. There's no alpha. For people or for wolves, that was, that was um, 
bad science. One guy made some observations once and was like, I think this is what's going on. But I think the wolves are in captivity. But and then he could never reproduce the results. So he, and he wrote a book and in, in real life, the guy later wrote is like, I, I regret that I ever published this because it was garbage science. OK, so, so but here's the trick. If you just like are the kind of dude that like whenever another person makes eye contact with you, you just meanly stare them down until they look away. That's all fine and good, but you get nothing for it. No one respects you for it. And I'll tell you, uh, it, it's all fun and games until you um, talk some shit to a guy at the bar at the club and you stare him down and he walks away only to come up behind you two minutes later with a bottle and smash it over your head while you're not looking. And the next thing you know, you're waking up in the back of an ambulance or something because that's what happens to assholes out there in the world. I don't care how big you are. You think you're all badass. Man, any guy who's worth a shit is going to not throw a punch when you're looking at him. He's going to throw a punch when you're not looking at him or worse. And I, I've lost friends to worse. All right? So... There's no alpha males. There's only asshole males. Just be a nice person. And, you know, occasionally you're going to mess up in life. You're going to come at someone too hard, too strong. You're going to cuss at them. You're going to swear at them. Uh, maybe you get physical when you shouldn't, you know, like you, 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 you pushing people around. We make mistakes. That's understandable. The trick is, though, is if you owe someone an apology, you apologize to them. And then you as a person, you grow and you mature and you stop being someone who gets in a fight and who threatens people and makes people feel uh, like they're not safe. Because that's really what you're talking about here. Men, women. It's like if, 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 if people don't feel safe around you, then you're doing something wrong. So that's all free. That's all free advice. I don't need you guys to pay me anything for that. No, I'm going to we'll just put the camera back here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Get back to the story. That was uh, that was close talking there. Indeed, I hope you guys could hear me. I don't know. I had to like, okay. Alpha males. Okay. Kind of sus, but whatever. Not everyone has the web skills to make their own site. Sure, I'm sure it's all cookie cutter sites, supplements, you know. The supplements any of those people are ever selling you are just manufactured by one company and they put your own little label on it and now it's your product. <laughs> special formulation it's like no and they're buying those pills for like two cents a, a, a piece and they're selling to you for like a dollar a piece so it's, it's all a scam it's all a scam sus but whatever okay i click through all the pages until i got to the pricing tiers 37 dollars and 62 dollars a month that is shocking two times 37 is 74 not 62 so that's weird math with the latter tier requiring an interview. Okay, so, but that's just, that, that's another problem right there though, because what you're saying is you're gonna go role play with people where there is no application process. There's other people on this, this massive game that aren't interviewed, they just, anyone can get in. That sounds like a nightmare, holy shit. Oh, I, are you going to tell us who this person is? I'm curious now. I, I know on Reddit they have rules about naming and shaming. You got to be careful. But I don't. <laughs> Let me know. Reach out to me. I'm super curious. I would like to know who this person is. And go look this up. Because this sounds like some serious shenanigans going on. I could, let's see. Yeah, we're, oh, sorry. Did I say per month? <laughs> I faked you out, dear reader, because that's... What I thought too, but no, it's $37 a week. Almost $150 a month to play d and it, it is d and Holy cow. Okay, but what the heck? There's a two-week free trial. I may as well try it out. So I put my credit card info in and click through to the Discord. It took me over a day to get set because their sign-up bot was broken. They had me fill out several forms, most of which were duplicate information, like entering email, Discord username and pronouns on each one, some of which referred to Patreon, which they apparently don't use anymore. Everything was managed through an Asherian network of Discord bots and channel access roles. Are we supposed to know what Asherian is? Okay. Uh, there were buttons that were marked DM only that players could absolutely press. That's classy. That's, stand that's standard, though. 
totally normal. And security amounted to the head DM constantly reminding staff not to mention secret things in channels players could see. Oh my god. This exists. Oh my lord. I was then pulled into a session zero with a player manager where I was informed that they use a three-tier system where players at lower tiers get bronze tokens and players at higher tiers get silver and gold tokens, which can be used to kick a can be used to kick other players out of games. If a session is full of bronze token players, a gold token player can bump one of them out in order to skip the line and play. Uh, oh my gosh. Who, who among us can schedule hours out of a day or night to role play only to have someone say, nah, brah, not you, not tonight? And would you just twiddle your thumbs? You just go watch Netflix? Chill by yourself? What? <laughs> I, I, that that's not a product. That's not that's an insult. This is like this is like having so it's like you're paying someone thirty five thirty seven bucks a week to slap you in the face, is what this sounds like. That's unbelievable. So with my thirty seven a week tier, I get four bronze tokens a month, where I get to shop channel where a bot would post every day, reminding me I could get extra bronze tokens for just another twenty five dollars or a gold token for just fifty. And I'm presuming you need the tokens to play to get into the game. Oh, is what? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Your thirty-seven dollars a week gets you nothing. <laughs> it gets you. It, it's bronze tokens is what you have, and then you put them and say, "I would like to play, please, at this time and date." And then <laughs> just pray to the deities above the pantheon here that uh, you don't get bumped by a silver or gold token. Is that what we're talking about? Oh, I, I, I would imagine you get your bronze token back, except with bullshit like what you're describing here. I, I, I would just say, well, no, you don't. You don't get it back. We just take it. Screw you. you. You're paying us 37 a week for a crap service anyway, with no respect for you. Like, this is monstrous. I... I am shocked because I never conceived that a product this this poor could exist, that people would be willing to even consider something like this. You can just go on Steam and just buy a fun computer game to play by yourself at home for $14.99. You own it forever. Role-playing, delving dungeons, making cool characters. I mean... Bite the big bullet. Go get Baldur's Gate 3. You can play that for hundreds of hours, I guarantee you. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, I, I don't even know. There were only a few quests available. Most all full, and most at times I couldn't make anyway. Since I have a 9 to 5 and two home games, I eventually found a TC, traditional campaign, not a West Marches quest, to join that said it would meet weekly at a time I could attend. I read through dozens of pages of homebrew, made a VTT token, set up my D&D Beyond, made a character, and waited expectantly as almost a week. Half my free trial went by. I was really hyped. In this world of wild homebrew, I made a human wizard who was seeking to understand the mysteries of the universe. I thought I'd, it'd be neat to way to roleplay with all the weird and wacky custom races, characters, and Magitech weapon wielders. I even wrote a backstory that tied in with some recent added lore. It's, it's good you have your backstory because no one else is going to see it. I mean, the DMs aren't even going to know your characters' names in, in a shit show like this, let alone your IRL name <laughs> or your, your handle. They, they don't care. <laughs> it's just like, all right, that's 20, 120 minutes, two hours. I got five minutes to go take a leak and grab a snack, and I'm due on back here in 10 minutes. My break's going to be over. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> just a miserable sack of shit job holy holy f i say wow 
Uh, yeah, right. They don't care what your backstory is. Imagine my disappointment when I logged into Discord on game day to find that my DM wasn't there. I say so you're very disappointed. But they're a professional company, so there should be a backup DM to just step in and host your session. Nor were any of the other players. I joined an active VC thing, and I might have misread the names, only to discover it was for another game. Okay, maybe I'm just too early. So I waited and waited and waited. The scheduled session time came and went. Nobody showed up. Eventually, my player manager told me that just being a part of the campaign wasn't enough. The DM had to also make a quest board post, and all the players had to put tokens in. Since that hadn't happened, the game wouldn't be starting this week, meaning I wouldn't get to play at all during my free trial. Okay. So there are DMs that are signing into the service to run their campaign as a part-time job? Yeah? It, 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 I only bring this up because like with any sort of um, mentor student type of job, like a, 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 someone who works at a hair salon, someone who is a personal trainer, there isn't a job if you don't bring your own clientele. That's like the big secret of all those kinds of industries is like, well, who's in your book? Like, who, who are your customers? It's like, can, can, can I train? I, I want to be a personal trainer at your gym. And they're like, yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Uh, who, who, who are your customers? Like, well, I don't have any customers. You're going to give me customers. I'm going to train them. They're like, nah, bro. No, we got like a dozen trainers. We don't, we don't need you. We need customers. <laughs> That's what this is. This is, is exactly that. It's a bunch of people saying, I can get paid to DM. And they're like, they go online and they get stuck in the funnel. Just like you, the player. I guarantee you every DM that, that runs on this, it gets pushed through the funnel, has to do all their information. It's all impersonal. And they're just like, yeah, man, here's the backstory stuff for the homebrew world that we run. Brush up on it and then fill up a game to run. Minimum th three tokens or whatever the fuck. I don't know. And if that doesn't happen, there's nothing to run and they get paid nothing. I guarantee you the people who are running this shit show do... Don't don't pay for nothing. They they need hard cash. They need return people. I bet you the DMs don't even get paid when you're a free trial player. They don't get paid. They only get paid for for paid tokens, silver golds that come in, and they're probably pressed really hard to upsell silvers and golds and other weird perks. This is this is a massive scam level thing. And it's just so ugly because it's just like, it, it. I don't know. I mean, it strikes me as something how you would scam children to join a fan club for a, a boy band back in like the 80s or something. It's like, hey, 10-year-old kids, you want to, you know, Jimmy, whoever the heck from fandom to hear your message? Call into this 1-800. It's 9 dollars a minute. And you can leave a message that Jimmy will listen to himself. It's like, no. Jimmy just has his face just licensed to put on a poster that goes in the back of a comic book to show children to sign up. But this, this is like a child scam is what this is. Crap, dude. This is, this is bad. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, your free trial ain't going to do you any good. Of course, I canceled immediately. Good for you. I hope they got none of your information, like credit card and certainly none of your money. And I was kicked from the Discord before I was able to give any feedback. Sure. <laughs> yeah, you were. I'm pretty unhappy about it. But at least I didn't get charged any money. I feel bad for all the folks who subscribe for 140 months just to get kicked out of the one session they can make each week by someone paying twice that. You, you have to understand how preposterous the bumping strategy is. If you just are paying your, your money in a week, you get the game. They're saying that for $37 a week, you're going to get four bronze tokens. But if you can't use the tokens because you can't get games to run, 
and they kick you back the bronze token that you're just going to accumulate bronze tokens. I'm almost certain they're not going to let you spend the tokens if you're not signed up as an active member. Meaning if you accumulate 18 extra tokens and you close your account, they're just like, great, man. All that, th that digital bronze, silver, and gold metal, it's just imaginary ones and zeros. It costs them nothing to pretend that they're giving you a service. And that's how that works. But you, what you're describing, you would struggle to use your four bronze tokens. You would struggle to get into games. Oh, I don't, I don't understand why they just don't just say, just it's a bidding, it's a bidding war. Just, just, just the, you, you have 60 seconds to put in the highest bid and the, and the four highest bidders are the ones to get to play in this game. Like it's that level of absurdity. It, it, Okay, well, in I, I will just say one more time. Let me know who this person is. I'll go check him out. Uh, this needs to be burnt to the ground. This is garbage, and people need to know. <laughs> I, I almost hope it's not real, but if you watched, take care.